Hey, hey everyone and welcome to the third part of our vehicle tutorial series. In the last two parts, we managed to configure a car, we implemented a controller that uses Polaris AI as input and tested it successfully. Now we want to show you how such complex scenarios as driving in a roundabout can be mastered. To do this, we use our example scene roundabout as a basis, so we won't add and configure every single behavior but rather show how it's done. primary focus in this part is on AI states and how to utilize Unity's mechanism system for that purpose. We start by deactivating all the cars in the scene except the first. Also, we now have the implementation of the controller from the last part, which still differs from the version in your package. So let's see what happens. Ok, the car moves in a neat circle, but this is it. If we activate the second car at the right moment, we see not what we want. The car crashes. Alright, let's have a look at the AI setup to understand what happens. Here we have the basic components, a name context with two objectives, and a steering filter that provides the agents with target positions and the other cars. Then we have the behaviors. Two aim orbit behaviors that are apparently used to move in the two different roundabouts. Then we have three different aim follow behavior instances that are used to drive the straight sections between the roundabouts and the tunnels. By the way, if there were curved sections, a path in combination with aim follow waypoints would be the way to go. Then there is an aim arrive and an aim reduction instance. They are used to brake to avoid collisions with other cars. Aim stabilization and aim planar interpolation are used to improve the results in all states. But that looks suspicious. There are a couple of behaviors that seem to contradict each other. How does that work out? Let's hit start again. That's interesting. The behaviors change their enabled state. And that is the keyword here. AI states. If there are too many things that contradict each other, it is far more difficult to find the perfect parameter set. Even multi-criteria optimization has its limits. This is, of course, a common and well-known problem in general AI applications. A solution is to use different states for different situations. But how can we use these states? The answer is simple. We need a state machine. I'm sure that there are good plugins out there. Nevertheless, we want all of you to be able to follow along. So we decided to use Unity's animation system Mechanim that is a state machine. And this is the reason we see that animator component here. Now when we open the animator window and select the roundabout animation controller, we see our AI states. On play, we can even see the currently active state which is neat for debugging. When clicking on a state, we see that a custom state machine behavior AI state is attached. You can find the script in our package. What it does is very simple. It takes the list we have here, and on state enter, it deactivates all aim behaviors except the ones with labels matching this list. Take the large roundabout state for example. It uses the large roundabout behavior, which is the aim orbit behavior, and reduction in roundabout, that is used to avoid collisions inside the roundabout. The two post-processing behaviors are active in all states. On the transition to the small roundabout, we have two states. The first one is leaving the large roundabout that just uses follow and post-processing. The second state also uses the aim arrive behavior. We decided to use aim arrive to break when another car is in front of the agent. This is handled by a small script that keeps track of cars passing a trigger. It sets the arrive target as the car currently in front of the agent passing the trigger. There are different ways of doing that. An alternative is going to be discussed in the fourth part. That's that. Let's have a closer look at the scene. 
Here we can see the trigger colliders we talked about earlier. At these positions, certain decisions are made like, should I leave the roundabout or keep driving? Also, the arrive targets are set here as explained. Now we can reactivate the cars and see what happens. Ok, let's speed it up a bit here. Looks like an AI fit for the crash derbies in flat out. And you guessed it, the solution for this problem is the topic of the last part. So don't forget to subscribe, thank you so much for watching and see you next week.